Hello my friends, how are you doing? In this video I want to talk about me living in the jungle, how I have been living here and, uh, and the retreats I'm giving in the jungle, shamanic retreats. Share my, my experience and, uh, and let you know how it's been for me the past the past, the past five years, actually, I've been living here in the jungle of Peru, close to Tarapoto, a more mountainous, like higher kind of jungle, higher ground jungle, which means mountains, you know, which I also very much like because in the lowland jungle it is much more humid and much more, much more difficult to be more mosquitoes, more animals, more humidity, more heat. While in the mountainous jungle, where I am, it is kind of more dry and less mosquitoes and it is, it is easier to be, it is less humidity. So I've been, and you know that I love mountains. So to find my mountain in the jungle was a very, very important thing for me. And I have been living here in the jungle. I built my house deep in the jungle right or a few months before the pandemic started and uh, that is a place which is not uh, not easily accessible to people it is two or three hour walk from the closest village you have to hike or as some of my friends say climb you have to climb to get there you have to go through the jungle difficult terrain up and down the mountains and in two or three hours you you get to the jungle 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 house that i have built and where i have lived for the last five years doing my practices meditating doing shamanic practices uh, how have i got how have I got here? I was searching for a place where I could do my own retreats, do my practices, my yoga practices, meditation, pranayamas, asanas while living alone. And at the same time, a place for doing shamanic dietas, shamanic retreats where I would be drinking master plants while living far away from the people. You want to, you want to live like a hermit, basically. How well can you see me with the sun? The sun has just come out from behind me. It's a beautiful day. Here I'm sitting by the river. I'm actually in the village. In the village from where uh, walking two or three hours uh, I get to the jungle house which is deep in the jungle. And that's a, that's a great place for, for doing retreats and being alone, living alone which was very important and is very important to me as you know or as you might know i have lived many years living a, a hermit life completely alone doing my practices my yoga spiritual practices and also shamanic practices so i come with a lot of experience and uh, to have my own place in the jungle where i could do this is was very important to me so i have built a house there is a whole story about it, but basically I built that house myself, deep in the jungle, with, with some friends. And uh, I have spent a lot of time meditating and practicing there, because what has happened after I built a house, the pandemic started. And you know the story, so... I spent, I spent all the time and beyond that in a jungle house do my practices and practicing very intensely as intensely as i could, would, could practice as a hardcore yogi as a hardcore shaman i would i would get up in the morning at 2 or 3 a.m to start my practices i would eat just once a day at usually like 10 a.m i would prepare my food on a bonfire and i would eat it just one time a day so that i have more energy and more time to practice and do intense yogic breathing practices, energy practices, asanas, postures, mantras, and also shamanic practices. I have been doing my dietas, drinking plants myself, while 
I had this opportunity, I, I have used the pandemic for good. <laughs> I had done very intense practices over there, meditating, practicing for over 10 hours each day. And, uh, and that house I also built with having in mind that I want to give retreats to other people, shamanic retreats and also yoga retreats, where people could meet me and do a retreat with me. And uh, throughout the last five years that I have been living here in the jungle, I have done quite plenty of retreats, giving, guiding people on two week, uh, sometimes even three week experiences living in the jungle with me while doing practices, doing yoga, meditation, and also drinking master plants, drinking ayahuasca, drinking San Pedro, drinking other master plants, having intense experiences living deep in the jungle with me. So this is what I have been doing in these past years, especially before I met my beautiful woman, Solange. I'm living with her more now here in the village now I'm in the village, it's close to the village, this, this beautiful river, it's also a beautiful place, but nowhere as hardcore as, as deep in a jungle. Um, 